Howard Stern's filthy mouth has made him filthy rich. The shock jock king has a net worth of $650 million, and his real estate empire alone is worth $186 million. Stern makes about $120 million per year, believe it or not, so he can easily afford whatever property he has his eyes on. His homes are packed with luxurious amenities and exude a certain level of class, which is quite surprising as Stern is known for being uncouth rather than classy. We're sure it's just a radio act. The Sirius XM star owns a penthouse in Manhattan, a palatial mansion in the Hamptons, and a stunning estate in Palm Beach, Florida. Here's a look at Howard Stern's incredible real estate portfolio. Howard Stern is a New Yorker through and through, so it's no surprise that he spends a lot of time at his stunning Manhattan penthouse. It's his primary residence and one of the most lavish apartments in all of New York City. Stern's swanky penthouse is worth at least $21 million, and the amenities are absolutely jaw-dropping. He owns five units in an ultra-luxurious West End apartment complex, and he combined them together to form a two-level penthouse that spans 8,000 square feet. Floor-to-ceiling windows in the penthouse offer stunning views of Central Park, which is one of the reasons why the penthouse is so valuable. New Yorkers are willing to pay big bucks for views of Central Park's lush greenery. Stern's penthouse also offers amazing views of the Hudson River. Not too shabby. The shock jock has been living in the penthouse since 1998, when he purchased three units for $6 million total. Stern wanted a bit more space in 2008, so he decided to expand. The building made such an impression on him that in 2008, he purchased two more units on the next floor down for 15 million bucks. We wouldn't be surprised if Stern buys more units in the building. After all, he can certainly afford it. Stern lives in the upscale penthouse with his wife, Beth Ostrowski, and their cat, Mushu Peaches, and he can even work from home Home when he can't make it to the studio. His penthouse has a cozy recording studio that he describes as a dungeon. If you want to live in the same building as Stern, you better start saving. Rent starts at $13,750 a month. Yeah, we said rent starts at that much. Residents of the complex are waited on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The building's residential amenities include a 24-hour doorman, a 24-hour concierge, a rooftop terrace, an IMAX theater, and a 23-meter-long swimming pool. All residents receive a special membership rate to the massive gym, which has high-end cardio equipment, a wide variety of weights, two basketball courts, a boxing ring, a soccer pitch, and a volleyball court. There's even a rock climbing wall and outdoor running track. Because Stern owns so much of the building, he has three exclusive underground parking spaces, although he rarely uses the spots because he doesn't enjoy driving. He once owned a Corvette, but he said he looked like Big Bird behind the wheel, so he got rid of it. Stern's penthouse has an open concept interior, and the bathrooms and kitchens are decked out in high-end marble. The luxurious apartment complex is extremely exclusive, and Stern has had a number of famous neighbors in recent years. Alan Alda reportedly has a penthouse in the same complex, and the late great Regis Philbin used to live in the building too. When Stern needs a break from the hustle and bustle of New York City, he does what every ultra-wealthy person does. He heads to Long Island and relaxes in the Hamptons. Stern's palatial mansion in the Hamptons is the stuff of legend. The sprawling estate is worth about $100 million, and Stern had the mansion custom-built to his specifications. It's essentially his dream home. The 16,000-square-foot abode is nestled snugly on the waterfront and offers amazing views of the Atlantic. Just imagine having a picnic while the cool summer breeze of the ocean washes over you. It's a feeling only the uber-rich can experience, or friends of the uber-rich. Stern purchased the land his mansion sits on way back in 2005 for $20 million and spent millions more having his stunning mansion built from scratch. The basement of the mansion features a wine cellar filled with rare vintages, and there's a wine tasting area in the next room over in case Stern and his guests want to enjoy a drink. The three-level mansion has a huge 1,500 square foot master bedroom with a balcony that offers stunning views of the ocean. There's a spacious bathroom attached to the master bedroom that features his and her sinks. That's not all. There are elegant stone fireplaces throughout the mansion, and accent pieces like antique chandeliers give the mansion a timeless feel. In fact, just about every room in the mansion has a stone fireplace or antique chandelier. Many rooms have both. You'll find a fireplace in the library, great room, sitting room, and formal dining room. The kitchen and bathrooms feature high-end imported marble countertops, and the mansion's classy wood-paneled library is the perfect place for Stern to read a good book. He's an avid reader, and 
enjoys relaxing with a self-help book or a World War II history book. Stern's private office has huge windows that bring in a lot of natural light, as well as a balcony that overlooks the ocean. The coolest room in Stern's Hampton Mansion is undoubtedly the Man Cave. It features a copper-plated bar, sitting area with plush leather chairs, a massive pool table, and of course, a fireplace. The Man's Cave supporting columns are adorned with rare and expensive guitars, and the walls are decked out with photos and music memorabilia. There are probably plenty of laughs to go around when Stern invites friends like Norm MacDonald and Gilbert Gottfried over to hang out in the Man Cave. There's even a full-length bowling lane directly attached to the Man Cave. How cool is that? The backyard of Stern's Hamptons Mansion has a huge pool, a spa, and a spacious pool house that is bigger than the average American home. You might be surprised to learn that someone as liberal as Stern has a mansion in ultra-conservative Florida. He owns a stunning $65 million oceanfront mansion in Palm Beach, and he purchased the property because he and his wife have a lot of friends in the area. Stern paid $52 million for the mansion in 2013 and then spent $13 million on renovations shortly thereafter. The renovations were extensive. Stern added a kitchenette to the home and even moved the location of the mansion's grand staircase. The $19,000 square foot mansion has five bedrooms, 12.5 bathrooms, and sits on 3.25 sprawling acres. Stern's wife might just be the luckiest woman in the world because she has a closet that's bigger than the average apartment. The couple's Palm Beach mansion has a 1,000 square foot closet that is likely filled with expensive clothes made by luxury designers like Gucci and Louis Vuitton. When the couple purchased the mansion, the community was a buzz, and it was one of the most expensive residential real estate deals in the town's history. Stern doesn't have to worry about paparazzi at his Palm Beach mansion, as the estate is surrounded by huge hedges, tall palm trees, and a wide variety of topiaries. Perfectly manicured lawns and formal gardens make the expensive mansion even classier. The luxurious mansion has a swimming pool and 1,196 square foot pool house in the backyard, although the pool is substantially smaller than the one at his Hamptons mansion. That's no problem for Stern, as the beautiful mansion has a private beach, and Stern can take a dip in the warm Florida waters wherever he wants. We wouldn't be surprised if Stern decides to retire soon and permanently move to Palm Beach. He is 67, after all. Stern has said that he hates the weather in New York, and we can't blame him. Nobody likes hopping over the snow and slush that lines the city's intersections. Stern recently signed a five-year contract with Sirius XM worth $100 million per per year. When that contract is up, he will be over 70 and worth over $1 billion. That sounds like a perfect time to call it quits. It's great. I live in New York. I'm, yeah. I'm a hermit, as you know. Uh -huh. Most homeowners can't stand paying property taxes. The more expensive the house, the higher the tax bill. So it's no surprise that Stern had to pay $903,543 in property taxes for his Florida mansion in 2016. Stern and his wife aren't the only celebrities with big tax bills in Palm Beach. Property tax bills over $500,000 are common because the city has many luxurious mansions. Stern even pays more in property taxes on his mansion than Donald Trump pays on Mar-a-Lago, which is also located in Palm Beach. Just in case you were wondering, Trump's 2018 Mar-a-Lago property tax bill was $899,864. That's a hefty price and more than three times the average cost of a new home in the U.S. That's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to this channel for more great videos.